While most people remain enamored with the attractions in Europe and the Americas, a few tourists have been awoken to the incredible scenes in Asian countries like Japan. With its storied past and eccentric modern culture clashing to give a unique experience, Japan promises an experience no other country can match. In this video, we'll explore the 10 most epic places to see should you decide to visit the land of the rising sun. So let's get right to it. Number 10. Kenrakuen Garden, Kanazawa. Visiting a Japanese garden is like finding yourself in an award-winning painting. Gardens here are true works of art, meticulously groomed with the utmost attention to detail. Of all of Japan's spectacular gardens, the Kenrakuen Garden in Kanazawa is arguably Japan's most beautiful. They were once part of Kanazawa Castle and became open to the public in the 19th century. The garden is spacious, private, with antiquity, an abundance of water, and vistas, and has both natural and artificial structures, giving it the unique honor of having what are considered the six requirements of a beautiful garden. Tourists can enjoy babbling brooks, gorgeous ponds, tea houses, panoramic views, bridges, carefully arranged stones, and flower beds, as well as isolated nooks while exploring the grounds. Number 9. Fukuoka Castle Ruins and the City's Ancient Festivals Fukuoka Castle was built by the shoguns and city rulers in the early 1600s. However, during the Meiji Restoration, the castle was demolished as a protest against the feudal system. Its remains are now a tourist attraction amid Maizuru Park. The park entails not just the ruins of the castle but stunning views of the Naka River, as well as the beautiful walking paths and picturesque views of the cherry blossoms that bloom in spring. While in Fukuoka, tourists may also indulge in one of the city's famous events and festivals. Top of the list is Hakuda Gion Yamakasa. For two weeks in July, millions of tourists from all over the country flock to the city to celebrate the 700-year-old event with colorful parades traditional races, and costumes. That's not to say that the city lacks modern attractions though, as it also has the canal city of Hakata, which is a city within a city that has a canal flowing through it and also boasts magnificent hotels, stores, restaurants, and a theater. Number 8. Okinawa and the Southern Islands. Japan is most popular for its cities that are either hyper-industrialized or historical monuments, so it might skip tourists' minds that the country also has incredible beaches and coastal towns. Okinawa and the Southwest Islands provide a completely different experience in comparison to the rest of Japan. Originally part of the Ryukyu Empire, a defunct self-ruling kingdom, Okinawa was annexed by Japan in the 19th century and the semi-tropical peninsula connects now Kyushu and Taiwan. The differences in culture, architecture and food between Okinawa and other Japanese cities are pronounced, and these differences can be traced back to the era of the Ryukyu Empire. Visitors come to enjoy Japan's best beaches. These include the sugar white sand beaches on the Yayama and Karama Islands which are surrounded by lush palm trees and blue water. You can partake in regular beach activities like sunbathing, snorkeling, and scuba diving while exploring Japan's wildlife. Number 7. Kyoto and its temples. Because it was the only city spared from the wrath of the Second World War, Kyoto is the Japanese town of artifacts. For thousands of years, it served as the center of authority in Japan, and it still displays the traces of its illustrious past. The city, which has long served as Japan's most significant cultural center, is now home to a number of temples that honor its strong Buddhist past as well as museums and art galleries that are each filled to the brim with important paintings, sculptures, and other works of art. Highlights of Kyoto's architecture stemming Buddhist influences include the several well-kept temples, of which about 30 are still in use, and significant structures like the Zen Rock Garden in Ryoenji and the Golden Pavilion, or Kinkokuji from the 14th century. Year-round, millions of visitors flock to Kyoto in the hopes of taking in its stunning historic streets and landmarks, which haven't changed much since the imperial family relocated there. You can tour the Kyoto Gosho, the emperor's imperial residence, which was constructed in 794 AD. Number 6. Osaka. Today, 
Osaka is known for its bustling nightlife and urban experiences that rival even Tokyo, but it originally used to be a significant town known for the country's largest and most significant army fortification at the time as it housed the Osaka Castle. Legendary Japanese warrior and statesman Toyotomi Hideyoshi built the Osaka Castle in 1583, and despite being demolished and rebuilt several times subsequently, the current building, erected in 1931, stays authentic to the original. The castle stands at 42 meters and has five stories. The tower contains exhibits documenting the history of the castle and the city, while the top level is popular among tourists for the spectacular views of Osaka it provides, as the sun sets. The Hakoku Shrine at Osaka Castle Park is well worth a visit, as is Shaitenji, Osaka's most well-known temple, which dates back to AD 59. Tourists can also enjoy Osaka for its stunning nightscapes lined with a brilliant display of LED lights, dynamic signs, and flashing video displays along the canal-side strip of Tombori. Number 5. Koyasan Complex The Koyasan Okanoin contains the tomb of Kobodaishur, the founder of Shingon Buddhism, and while a cemetery may not immediately appear to be a top attraction, this is one of the most sacred locations in the country, a prominent pilgrimage site, and quite exceptional. Kobo Daishur, also known as Kukai, is a pivotal person in Japanese Buddhist history, and he is believed not to be dead, but rather to be in endless meditation, awaiting the Buddha of the future. Whether you believe this is factual or not, pilgrims from all over the country gather to chant and pray in the presence of Kobo Daishur. Visitors must cross the Ichinohashi Bridge and walk past more than 200,000 gravestones on their way to the mausoleum after arriving at the cemetery. The cemetery contains more than a hundred temples, the most noteworthy of which is the Okunoin, whose walkways are flanked by imposing cryptomeria trees and stone stupas that have withstood the test of time and are covered in moss and lichen. Other temples in Koyasan provide a unique experience, allowing you to dine on traditional vegetarian Buddhist food and attend the morning meditation with the resident monks. The site's most holy core, where the Moroku Stone, as well as Toroto Hall, a primary worship hall, is located, is separated from the rest of the cemetery by the Gobiobashi Bridge. The Hall of Worship is illuminated by thousands of lamps, and beyond the auditorium is the actual tomb, which is an incredible sight in itself. Number 4. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park Hiroshima's claim to fame is its unfortunate history and the bombing of the city during World War II, but since then, much has been done to change its image from being a despondent city with no hope to a more modern metropolis with beautiful, lush walkways while still immortalizing those who lost their lives in the nuclear disaster. The Peace Memorial Park stands as a stark reminder of the scope of the atomic bomb's human toll and offers a terrible and crucial lesson in history. Located in the Memorial Park is the Peace Memorial Museum, where exhibits concerning world peace are stationed, as well as the Cenotaph of Remembrance, the Flame of Peace, and the Atom Bomb Dome, which marks the epicenter of the explosions. Around the museums and symbols are also gardens of colorful cherry blossoms, a pointer to the city's spirit of determination and a sign of the healing that is taking place in Hiroshima. The city is also famous for its cuisine, which will ensure that you depart with some pleasant memories to go with the sober ones. Number 3. The Island Shrine of Isukushima, Mayajima. The island of Mayajima is known around the globe as Japan's Shrine Island. The Itsukushima Shrine is only a short boat trip from mainland Hiroshima on Mayajima, located in Hiroshima Bay, and is a Shinto temple dedicated to the princess daughters of the wind god Susanu. There are various rooms and halls, including the Offerings Hall, the Main Hall, the Prayer Hall, the Hall of a Thousand Mats, as well as the Shrine Stages, where visitors are delighted with traditional dances and musical performances. The majority of the shrine's structures can be traced to the 8th century and rise out of the waters of a little bay supported solely by piling. At high tide, the effect of the sunlight on the water is breathtaking, causing numerous monuments, notably the famed Great Floating Gate, to appear to float on water. The island is also home to wild animals and various bird populations, which can be seen in the beautiful lawns and gardens that are well worth visiting. Number 2. 
Tokyo and the Imperial Palace. The city of Tokyo, Japan's economic heartbeat, is known for its cosmopolitan outlook and is a city with vast experiences for different types of tourists as well as its landmark skyscrapers. It is the biggest example of Japan's march toward a postmodern future, yet at its center is perhaps the biggest symbol of Japan's past rich in culture and prestige, the Imperial Palace, which is the home of Japan's imperial family. The imperial family still lives there even today, so not all of the palace is open to visitors. However, the parts that you can explore will make your mouth water at what they could possibly be hiding behind the red tape. The palace grounds and surrounding park are home to the exotic East Higashi Jiawen Garden and the romantic Naijibashi Bridge, which can both be seen on a palace tour. Outside the palace, life in Tokyo speeds past you at a million miles an hour. Its mix of art and pop culture, architecture, entertainment, shopping, and fine dining is just waiting to suck you into what it feels like to be in the most forward-thinking city on the planet. Number 1. Mount Fuji. In 2013, UNESCO named Mount Fuji, or Fujisan, a cultural heritage site. Just by gazing at its grandeur as part of the city's skyline, or taking a hike from its base or the halfway point, Mount Fuji will leave you breathless. Standing at 3,776 meters above sea level, it is easily the most famous spot in all of Japan and also its highest point. Reaching the peak of Mount Fuji to see its hallowed volcano is an ancient custom that started in Imperial Japan and shows no sign of slowing down. During the summer months every year, more than a million yes, a million people climb Mount Fuji, hoping to reach its summit and get a life-changing view of the sun rising from just over the horizon. The journey to the top takes nearly six hours from the midway point of the mountain, the most common for tourists, but the view from the top is the reason why more people gather each year to find their way to the summit. There are a few other towns to see in Japan, but none can top these amazing Japanese cities and sites. Which places caught your fancy? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends if you have enjoyed it.